I'm early because I, I'm just like, I, I, I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting here. So I might as well go early. Hello, friends. Happy Monday. This is way too close. Way too close and too low. That's better. Hello, friends. Why did it just fall down again? Let me get my stuff together now. Welcome. Hi, Kitchy Cat. Hi, Carrie. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Monday. Monday. Hi, Lori. Hi, Kara. Monday. Now, I don't normally do these, sh like, choose things and friend mail on Monday, but um, I was gone Friday, so I, I, you know, I, I had to do it on Monday. Hi, Christina. Hi, Karen. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Diane. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Vintage and Vino. I, hi, Jerry. Spring break for you. Oh, well, fun, Jolene. Jolene. You know we're going to do it. You know, we can't say your name without thinking the song. We can't sing it fully, though, because we'll get in trouble by YouTube. YouTube will not be happy with that. Well, I hope you guys are all having a great Monday. Um, the weather is beautiful here in southern Indiana. I ended up staying with Emma last night in her apartment. She is not feeling well. She was throwing up all day yesterday. She's still not feeling good right now. And so her mother needed to stay with her to make sure that she's okay. And she had a COVID test and it was negative, but she's just, she's sick. So she's supposed to go back to school tomorrow because since she thought that she might be exposed to COVID, she had her COVID test, she had to stay quarantined for 15 days. So instead of being on campus, she decided to come home and stay in her apartment. We were with her all weekend. So, um, I, none of us have been sick. So I, I, I don't know. Um, so she has an appointment to the, with the doctor today and we'll see how that goes, but it could be Christina. She's not running a fever. She has no fever, but she's just vomiting. Sorry. I know that's kind of a gross thing to talk about in the morning, but that's, that's where we're at. Yeah. I mean, the, the old fashioned flu still exists. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. So the only thing that's really been helping her is Dramamine, but the Dramamine makes her very tired. But, but if you're not feeling well, then sleep is good. So, well, we thought food poisoning too, but we've ate the same places all weekend because she went with us on our little getaway. <laughs> and, uh, so we ate, we all ate the same things and Mark and I haven't been sick. So we will see. Hi, Daniel. Okay, thank you, Tiger. I will. I will. She's. She, I hear the laundry going. So, she's she's doing laundry. Oh, and I don't think she's not complained of any any pain at all. So, hopefully, hopefully it was just like a twenty four hour bug, and 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 she'll be doing better. Um, bad sinus infection. It could. It because she said she was dizzy, which is what made me go and stay with her last night. I was, I had gotten home from the shop. I worked all day yesterday. And in fact, I will be filming a video. I got my wall built. Yes, and I am sore. I've moved furniture all day yesterday. And you can tell how out of shape that you are when you just bending down after like you've moved a bunch of furniture, moving, just bending down to plug in something. I, I, it hurts. So my, my muscles are sore from moving around. So, yes, and she's keeping high. Um, her daddy went and got her some Gatorade like daddies do when their babies are sick. Um, hi, Randy. Uh, so, yeah, she's she's drinking Gatorade and um, she was able to eat. I brought her some macaroni and cheese and she was able to keep that down, but she wasn't even able to keep crackers down yesterday, so... Yes, I'm sore, but I, I got to where the front of the shop is where dad can have his buddies and they can look through all his stuff. It's kind of stuff that I'm not wanting to sell because it's big and it's just not things that I'm, I've got enough. That's all his stuff, but I, I, it's getting there. The shop is getting there. Yay. All right. Randy girl. I, I, I don't, you, I think that you said that you had sent me something, but I went to the post office this morning 
and they said that they didn't have everything put in the PO boxes yet, but that I did have something. So I will go back um, either this afternoon or in the morning to, to check. So I have six packages right now to open. And then we're going to go and pick up, um, or pick out 15 items. You guys are, I've already got things pulled for Wednesday's sale. But I need you guys to pick 15 items for Tuesday's sale. Now, Tuesday's sale is the Three's Company sale. And it will basically be Michael and I that will be selling things. Michelle, it'll be on Michelle's channel. And she's just there for, just to hang out with us just to hang out with us. And um, so that will be tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern on Michelle's channel. So you guys are gonna pick out those things, 15 things. Hey, Michael. Michael, I hope you got your storage containers figured out. I only listened to half of your message before I realized what time it was. Daniel, um, I don't know. He asked if I was going to be opening this. Now, I if I would open it, it would be like a one-day thing, maybe once a year. I don't really have any um, desire to necessarily open it, open it. But I did set up a few things for Dad yesterday. and Because um, he kind of wants to have like his flea market guys come in and they can buy things directly from him. And he can kind of have his own area where he can set stuff up and and so he's not putting stuff on my shelves and so we have like an area now this couch will be moved down the center of the shop will be like the sitting area where we'll have the couch and a table to eat you know to eat eat at and so I it'll it's coming along but we got a lot done yesterday and I swept the floor. You know when you sweep your floor? Like I, this is 2,500 square feet of a big floor that needs swept. And I swept my floors and it just feels good. You know, you just kind of feel good just having a clean floor. Now I need to mop it, but that, that'll be next. All right, let's open up some friend mail. Now I did not put out a video this morning Normally my videos go out every day at eight o'clock other than the weekends because I'm, I had planned on doing this and then with the, um, the vintage rescue squad, which here are the shirts, they are still available. Um, the link is on, um, in all the descriptions of my videos that you can purchase one if you would like. They're super soft and there's a bunch of different colors. Um, but Monday nights is a vintage rescue squad. And so I didn't want to have three videos out today. So that's why I didn't put one video out today. So this is the video, but then we have the vintage rescue squad tonight at eight o'clock Eastern. All right. Oh, tonight, Jolene, it's going to be me and Michael. M Michael and I are, are on every week. And then we're going to have sugar britches on sugar britches, which is Lori Ann and her YouTube channel is Sugar Britches Sweet Ass Stuff. And then we're going to have Jamie from Mid-Century Wasted. So it's going to be the California girls as our guests tonight. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Hi, Sandra. All right. So I'm just going to grab. Now I have opened up all of the boxes because, I, you know, I, I wanted to save a little bit of time, but I haven't. I haven't seen what's inside. What's inside. Daniel, I have to go back and watch that. Daniel Tacky as me went live for the first time. Was it yesterday, Daniel? And he was like, he was having issues and stuff. But once you get the hang of it, Daniel, it'll be, you know, it'll go easier. Have you watched my first live videos, Daniel? They're not very good. I didn't know what I was doing. But the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll get. So just don't give up. Just keep doing it, Daniel. You are a delight, Daniel. You are a delight. <laughs> oh, yeah, Daniel, that's me. I just jump in. I don't read the directions. We don't, we don't read the directions. We just go. We just do it. And we figure it out as we go. That's just what we do. Just, we just wing it. I wing everything in life, basically. All right, so this package was sent to me from... Amazon. I don't think Amazon was sending me a, a package, but 
but it was something that was sent. Oh, Randy girl. I didn't know. I was like, I looked at all of the, the address labels and I didn't see Randy girl, but this says, enjoy your gift. Misty, just a little something I hope will cheer you up. Love you, girl. Randy sounds sassy from Randy. Hi. Thank you, Randy. And, oh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, this is going to be saucy, Randy. She sent me the book of Behind the Candelabra. Now, this movie, I haven't watched the entire movie yet because I have to say, my 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 Liberace wasn't looking real good. He, he was looking a little, he was, I didn't want him to be jaded. But, I mean, we all have dark sides, right? We all do. But this is my life with Liberace. Look at that bling. Now, this is Scott. Scott Thorson, which was... Uh, Liberace's boyfriend. Now, Liberace, his whole life, never admitted that he was gay. Ever. Ever. But, I mean, he was. He just never, you know, he never admitted to it. Uh, which is very sad. But, oh yeah. Liberace's unhappy childhood, dominated by a mother determined to force him into a concert career. Now, there are two sides to every story, you know, but this is going to be saucy. And the books are always better than the movie. And I haven't watched the whole movie yet because I was like, I was a little, getting a little disappointed with Liberace. And I love Liberace. There's old Lee Liberace. But look at those rings. That's some serious stuff. All right. Thank you, Randy girl. I'm going to read this saucy book. Yes, I will. Hi, Peacock. And Sandra. Oh, I, is Katie Girl here? You saw Liberace live. Oh, see that? He was a showman. He put on a good show. A good show. All right, now, like I said, I opened up all of the boxes here. This is from Kelsey from Rising Sun, Maryland. And I love it that I can reuse these little boxes. Oh, it's got packing peanuts in it. I'm going to... Dump those. I have a little bucket down here. I can dump those in just in case. I'm prepared today. You got to shop Liberace's mother's estate sale. She had a very humble little home. She did. Now, she lived in Palm, Palm Springs with Liberace and Liberace's brother. But Liberace's brother was like, didn't approve of all the male friends that Liberace would have over. And because he was like, you know, it's going to ruin your career. Now we're talking about a time where, it, you know, that could ruin your career. And um, sadly. And so Liberace was like, well, I guess I got to move then. <laughs> so he did. But, but Liberace and his mother lived in that house in Palm Springs. For a while, I think until 1967 or so. I don't know. That fur coat, yeah. He was, he was very funny. And he was very saucy during his performances too. If you've watched any of his performances live, which I have, I watch them on YouTube when I'm in here working all the time because I'm like, I gotta have the spirit of Liberace fill me, but not Scott's version of Liberace. My own version of Liberace that lives in my brain. Okay, so this is from Kelsey. Oh, okay. Kelsey. Kelsey told me about these. And, oh, wait till you see them. Now, I have one of them. I didn't know that they had made different versions. They're California Pottery. And they are sock darners. Did I say that right? Sock darners. Yes, Rock Hudson was. He was. And he was in, Rock Hudson was in a movie with my other fella, James Dean. Now, oh my gosh. Wait till you see. No. Wait, are these? Okay. Now, these are not sock darners. They're not sock. The one I have is a sock darner, which is, I don't know what that does. Hi, Cindy. 
I don't know what a sock darner does, but it's shaped very much like this, but these are salt and pepper shakers. Oh my gosh. They are California pottery, but oh, wait, look at them. Look at them. They got little berets on. They're French. Look at his little handlebar mustache. They're kind of shaped like a um, bowling pin. Now, the sock darner I have doesn't have a little lip on the bottom. It's just fully bulbous, which is a fun word to say. And it says, oh, darn it, on the back. But these say, old salt. This is the salt shaker. And this one says, hot stuff. <laughs> and it's the pepper shaker. <gasps> Look at those. Oh, I'm buffering. Am I buffering? Use it to heal. The You use it to darn heel of socks. I don't, I still don't know what that, I mean, I to mend a sock or to make a sock? It's to mend a sock, possibly? But look at how cute, they're little sailors. Oh, are you sailors and not French? Oh, I love these. Thank you, Kelsey. I love them. Those are going to go. I have two sock darners. And I'm going to add that. So I'm making a whole California pottery people and critter shelf. And I have a whole five things on that shelf. I mean, I have other things, but I'm wanting to make it. And I'm, I'm trying to channel my inner Randy girl. Because I want like a whole case of something. Like Randy Girl has like a whole case of something. I'm getting there, Randy. I'm going to have a whole shelf. I've got five California Pottery people and critters. And I'm working on a whole shelf. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Next, I... Okay, that's... Putting the empty boxes over there. Next is this. Now, this is sent to me from Newton's Cupboard, which is my girl, Michelle Newton of Newton's Cupboard, who has a... Oh, Michelle! Hope you like these. Michelle, Newton's Cupboard. Do you see this? Just wait. <gasps> Okay, first of all, we have Liberace, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Look at the coat. Look at that. Oh, I thought that was, I thought it had a train on it. That's just the bottom of his tree. I want to say, if I could see that, if you could see up here, like his Palm Springs house had a very, like a lattice look to it. Oh my gosh, we can listen to Liberace. Does he say the night before Christmas? Oh, I love this. Now see, and I will, during Christmas time, I will put that in my decoration. <gasps> oh my gosh, Michelle! It's Liberace's greatest hits. Look at him sitting there all sassy with his little leisure, blinged out leisure suit. Theme from Romeo and Juliet, the time I get to, oh, by the time I get to Phoenix, Strangers in the Night, San Francisco, uh, Spanish Eyes, theme from Romeo and Juliet, Born Free, Love is Blue, San Francisco, oh, I already said that yesterday, Georgie Girl. Oh, look at him. Liber oh, Lee Liberace, Mr. Showmanship. I don't know if you, I'm, now this one, I can put in my decor all year round. My husband will love it. He will love it. He won't love it at all, but he just deals with it. He deals with it. I love them, Michelle. I love them. He was. He was. And honestly, hey, Angela. Honestly, his music is really fun to listen to. I myself am not like a big, you know, piano person. I don't know how to play the piano. I don't really listen to like 
music that doesn't have words in it. But I mean, he does sing. And he he is it's very nice, especially when I'm in here working, I can just put on the record and it just it's just happy. And I can talk to him. I can put him up and I can talk to him. Yes. Oh, you need to, Sean. It, he's very, he, it's very fun to listen to. And he was very sassy. And I really like that about him. All right, this next box here is from Sandra Outerbridge. Now, she sent me, and sadly, I have almost eaten them all. Well, not just me, my family as well. But she sent me four bags, well, two big bags and two small bags of ketchup potato chips. And I honestly could would love to have more. But we took them with us when we went on our little trip. And so, you know, we had snacks. But they're so good. Now, the old... Now, if you're a Canadian person, the old Dutch, those are the best ones. The old Dutch brand, those are the best ones. I'm just saying. So Sandra said that she had sent me something else, a smaller box, and this must be it. Oh, it's all wrapped up, Sandra. It's, I opened it upside down, so the card or the letter is right here on the top. There you are, Sandra. Yes, Sandra, those old Dutch ones are, they're the best ones. They beat the ruffles. They're so good. They're really good. Okay, Sandra says, Dear Missy, I found these two different sets of Salty and Peppies and thought of your collections. Hope you can use them or resell. Also, a box of Pixie Heads and two 1950s books that are a good fun read to resell or keep. It's all up to you. Thank you, Sandra. I really enjoy your videos. Your friend in Western Canada. Canada? I just invented my own country. Canada. Canada. Sandra Outerbridge. Sandra, you will forever be ingrained in my memory for sending me all of those potato chips. I'm a potato chip fanatic, I have to say. I like salty, savory treats or like breads and cheese more than sweets. That's me. Okay, what are we talking about? I heard... Uh, oh, Humpty Dumpty actually sold out into Old Dutch. Ooh. Old Dutch is a part of Humpty Dumpty potato chips from, oh, Maine. I thought it said that they were made in Canada. Okay. All right. Ooh, oh, you know what, Sandra? I don't have these. Look at these guys. Now, normally, the man has his eyes closed, I think. No, the woman always has her eyes closed because she just can't bear to see what the man is doing. Um, Antiques from Karen. Well, welcome, Antiques from Karen. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of noticing the chat does go by really fast, and it's so hard to keep track, and I want to be able to say, to say hi to everybody. But actually, yes, Karen, come to the chats. You do not, and come to the live sales. You don't have to buy anything. Just being part of the chat. This community is so awesome and is so welcoming, and we're always here to cheer each other on. But as long as you are keeping, you're, you're talking and you're, and you're, you know, being a part of the chat to, so that we know that you're there and we can talk to you, do that. Welcome. This is a wonderful community. With Saeed Gary. Hi, Gary. Okay, and then, oh, Little Treasures by Nancy. Thank you. She's telling everyone to do a thumbs up. Make sure that you do a thumbs up. Oh, thank you, Karen. Well, it's a, it's a thing for me because I, I have, well, I have a lot of stuff. And I just think I like the interaction that I that I get with, when you guys all help me, you know, pick things out. Misty, can you use some fresh eggs this week? Uh, yes, I can, Tammy. 
Yes, I can. Especially, it's almost Easter time. I need him. Easter's like soon, right? It's like next weekend. Not this weekend, but the weekend after that. So we need to make some deviled eggs. Okay, I'm still opening Sandra's package. I get distracted. And I know at 1 o'clock, I'm going to try to be done at 1 o'clock, though. I know that there are, I want to say that there's, I think that um, Aaron from the Collection Vintage is having a sale at 1 o'clock. So make sure that you go over and check out her live sale and hang out. So I'm going to try my best to be done by 1 o'clock. So I don't have my watch. Oh, there you are, Aaron. I don't have my watch on, so help me keep track of the time. Just say, Misty, it's time, it's time to go. <gasps> Okay, okay, it is the, the girl that normally has her eyes closed. There's an, the other set, Salty and Peppies. Sandra, I'm keeping these because you sent them to me. Now, this must be the Prixies. Oh, my word. I'm going to save this tissue paper, Sandra. I'm going to reuse it. These, look, it's a whole box of little Prixies or gnomes. I don't know if they're... Prixies or gnomes. I'm going to take one out. I'm going to try to hurry. Oh my goodness. You can have a whole tree of heads. Look at that. Look at their little beards. Their little gray beards. Those are fun. These would be neat too just to put in a big, um, a big jar. A jar full of heads. I love those. Jar full of heads. And Sandra, I like that you didn't tape this tissue paper because then I can reuse it. Ooh, the sea hunt. And that's an Angie shark. Deep Sea Adventures, book one. See, this is fascinating to me. Greater Victoria Schools. It's from out of the country. 1959 and it's about going on a deep Carlos and the shark I love the graphics on the front though Ooh, look at that he's a deep sea diver and there is a octopus doo-doo 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 that movie scared me to death when I was little Jaws oh gosh that's the movie that made me not ever want to swim in the oceans. And I don't. I don't swim in the ocean. <gasps> this is a classic, Sandra. Sammy the Seal. Do you remember? I loved Sid Hoff. And I used to love to read these to my students. Because you can put so much infliction in your voice. Inflection. I said it the wrong way. And you can, you can, you know, act out the, the voices and... Look at the faces on him. I loved these. Sid Hoff was a wonderful illustrator and author. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. That was awfully sweet. I love them all. I have a little box right here that I keep everybody's cards in. Okay. Thank you, Sandra. I appreciate it. This next box is from Constance Hall from... Um, Florida, Braderton, Florida. I'm going to say, I think my grandma, my grandparents used to live. Ooh, look at how pretty. Oops. Constance. I was like, I already forget your name, Constance. But that, don't take that the wrong way because I, that, I forget everything. Oh, look, it's a sea gun. Now, I call them sea guns because I always have, and that's what they'll forever be called. Misty, even though it's late for your Easter sale, please enjoy the contents as you wish. Keep, sell, gift, or trade. Your thrifter friend, Nora Tacky. Oh, I love her name, Nora Tacky. Like Nora Taki, but it's Nora Tacky. Connie, a.k.a. Connie. Put this in here. So, that's why I was like Constance, I don't, but Connie, I recognize. And I will reuse all this green paper, too. That's a good idea of using this. Um, 
my gosh, there's all kinds of little bundles in here. Oh, here is a, now what are you, a bunny? It's a napkin ring of a bunny. Boop, boop, boop. Sandra is such a kind and giving person. She has gifted a lot of us. Oh, look at, she's, Connie has wrapped each one in a little bow. This is little Thumper. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, here's another little bunny. This says it's, oh, it's kind of like silky. A little cloth bunny. Here's another bunny napkin ring. These are made out of wood and I think they're hand painted. They're like a lacquered wood. Oh, here's a little black bunny. He's cute. Look at how, look at this. These are so cute. Oh, I love these. I love these. These little long skinny bunnies. Love that. This feels familiar to me. I think I know. Yes. Now, I use these. I have several. These are fun. These old Pez con containers. They're not worth a whole heck of a lot of money. Now, some of them are. But... That's a fun, look, he looks like he's been in the devil's lettuce. Hey, kids, just say no. Bugs Bunny. But they're they're fun to add to your displays. Like, I have Smurfs in my displays, and, like, I like holiday figural things of characters. Oh, my gosh, he's so cute. Look at the little home coat bunny. He's got his jammies on. He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, now this, this is Beatrice Potter. It's Beswick. Made in England. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love him. He's got his little blue jacket on. And here we've got, oh, see, I love these little, now this is stone, but I have a little cubby shelf. So I'm gonna put these on my, on my little cubby shelf because I'm gonna be honest, I am not getting out all my Easter decorations. I've decorated with the things that I, like, I put in my hidey hole that I've got out. But I, it's, Easter is so early, and I'm not going to do all that work for just a little bit. So, I'm, oh my gosh, these are cute. So, thank you, Connie, because I, I'm, I'll add these to my Easter decor because I am not. Look at these little bunnies in a bed. They're so angy. Oh, that's so cute. Hi, Chicago lady. I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting everything because it's all so, oh, here's another stone bunny. Like this is a marble bunny. <laughs> Puda, that was your favorite. Hi, vintage Viking. Oh, you got six inches of snow. Ugh. I know, Erin, aren't they cute? They're in their little bed. Go a nine nine. I think there's two more things in here. We just make sure. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is cute. Look. Oh, look at that. They're little bunny carrots. They're little bunnies that are made out of carrots. These are homegrown by Inesco, 2006, Seagull Decor. Hi, Pam. Isn't that cute? The little bunny might be soapstone. I think so. Oh, my gosh. It's a box full of bunnies. This is the last one from Connie. Ooh. 
it's another little white marble bunny. Oh, I love that. All of these are going to go on my little cubby shelf. So, Connie, I'll make sure that I take these home tonight and I'll take a picture. Yeah, the bunnies are multiplying. And I put them all on top of this last box. So, that was not very smart of me. So, I will take these home and I will put them all in my cubby. My cubby is kind of bare right now. Because, like I said, I, I thought about it last night and I was like, I'm not getting all of my Easter decor out. I'm just not. <laughs> Easter's Easter's next weekend or the weekend after next. Thank you so much, Connie. I'll make sure that I get a picture of those on my cubby and I'll post it on Instagram. But next I got this big box. Big box. Or it's not next weekend, but the weekend after, after next. This is from Tina Meyer from the Eclectic Treasure Hunter. Now she lives what my husband says is the Holy Land, which is West Lafayette, Indiana, which is where Purdue University is. So she lives in the Holy Land. Oops, oh, got on me. So Tina sent a, ooh, what is this, Tina? Oh my word. It's a baby. Make sure that that's the only thing in here. I don't want to forget. Okay. So this, it's a baby. It's an F and B baby. Of what? We don't know. Please don't be a clown. Well, she wrote a note. Hello, Misty. I've been watching your YouTube channel and following you on Instagram and Facebook for a while now, and I've been wanting to reach out and say hi. I sound like a stalker. No, you don't. You can always reach out and say hi. I'm sending you a thank you gift for all the entertainment and information you've shared. I've been thinking about being a reseller for years, but, but being full-time mom and having a full-time job has made it something I put on the back burner. I, that's absolutely... I think that it is hard. I don't know how you can... The, the resellers that have a full-time job and resell... That's a lot. You, I don't know how you guys do it. Um, uh, la, la, la. Now that I'm almost an empty, I'm almost an empty nester and single, I have decided that it's now or never. Yes, Tina, you go for it. Of course, that doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. We, you just got to jump in. Honestly, that, that you, we just jump in. That is where the reselling community on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram have become my learning platform. Without you and several other resellers on YouTube, I would still be dreaming about it. I started watching all the videos and following other social groups that are a fountain of knowledge during COVID and really paid attention. You guys are amazing and so informative and that you share your knowledge with others is fabulous. Thank you. We all learn off from one another. I watch other people's videos and I learn from them every single day. I've always gone to auction, vintage stores, antique stores, and thrift stores for years. I have very eclectic taste, which is good, um, and pick up wonderful things for a song. I joked about doing this for a living, but never thought I'd be able to. After watching, learning, and taking notes, I've started picking things up at thrift stores, estate sales, and auctions, recently going for more antique vintage malls for better deals and finds. Yeah, kind of have to now. Long story short, I finally put together a logo and started selling on eBay and Facebook Marketplace on March 1st. Congratulations, Tina. I know it isn't easy and I don't expect to get rich, but why not do something you love and hopefully make some money at the same time? Absolutely. As a single mom, it's very scary and I have to be very careful with my budget, but overall, I think I've made, made mostly good choices. I do have to call out some of the stuff that I bought at the very beginning. This year will be a big learning curve and I hope to participate in the YouTube community someday. Well, you're already part of the YouTube reselling community just by being there, by being here with us. I feel like you and I are kindred sp spirits, especially since you are an Indiana girl like me. I would love to meet you someday and do some thrifting with you. I hope you enjoy your gift. I saw it on an online auction and thought of you. Oh. My husband's calling me. I'm live. I told him I was going live at noon. He don't listen. Um, I feel like you... Oh, wait. Sincerely, your fellow weirdo thrifter... Tina, Eclectic Treasure Hunter. P.S. I was wearing the Vintage Rescue Squad t-shirt when I made my first Facebook Marketplace sale. And the lady loved it. Also went thrifting that day and had several others comment on it. I told them about your channel. Thank you, Tina. So, Eclectic Treasure Hunter. 
sent me a baby. Oh my gosh, Tina, are you here? by the way. I'm sure you already know that. We live down near IU, which is not the Holy Land. <laughs> oh my gosh! Just wait! Oh, hey, I gotta get him all ready. Just look at, just look at who this is. It's the man himself! Let me entertain you. It's Liberace! And he is glorious! And he's got, he's got his walking stick. Look at his shoes! Oh my word! He's got a cape. He's all glitzy and sparkly and smiley. And he has his tag. He's an F and B. And what are these? Are these his cufflinks? I think these are his cufflinks. Oh my word. Tana! I think in here it had he also had his Hello doll lover. I would like to tell you how thrilled I am that you are now the owner of a Liberace collectible doll. I was extremely, oh wait, because this is from Liberace himself. I was extremely pleased when f &B Doll Corporation, America's leading doll quality doll manufacturer, asked me to become the eighth member of their new Famous Legend series. For over four decades, I've enjoyed entertaining millions worldwide. Giving pleasure to others has been a pleasure for me. I hope that FMB's rendition of one of my best known outfits will delight you and that your Liberace collecting doll will be one of your favorites. With warmest regards, Liberace. Mm. Liberace! It's a flippin' Liberace doll. It's a flippin' Liberace doll. You know what? He may just have to like ride in the cart with me and like put him, I can put you in the cart with me and we could go shopping together. Oh my word. Tina, that is amazing. I'm going to have to take a new thumbnail picture and this will have to be my thumbnail. Isn't it great? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Who is it? Gary. Gary. It's liver, it's liver freaking Rachi. Liver Rachi. And his cape. Oh my gosh, I love him. He's gonna be my little friend. He can keep me company all the day while I work. And I hate that I can't see everybody's comments. I'll have to go back and look it all. Okay, I'm gonna take a drink. Thank you guys so much for the thumb for the thumbnails. No, for the friend mail. It's so fun. I can't even drink. I'm so excited. Hi, Suze. Okay. Oh, and antiques from Karen. Make sure that when the video goes up, like after this is all up and gone, go back into the comments and put the link to your YouTube channel. So make sure that you guys all go back and, you know, if you have a YouTube channel, Put it in the comments of the video so people can um, can find you easier and subscribe to you. All right, are you guys ready to go for a little bit of a ride? Okay, I'm gonna take you off of the tripod, tripod or tripod, and I have to unhook my phone charger. Ooh, hold on, it's a little bumpy. Now we're going to go. Sorry, don't, don't look at the light. We are going to, we're going to leave Liberace. You stay over there for a minute, buddy. We'll be back for you in just a minute. Just a minute. 
Okay, so we're going to go over here and we're going to pick 15 things. I got my basket right there. Wait, and that says Walmart, but I got it from the bins several years ago. I got a Kroger one and one from Penny's as well, and I use them all the time. Okay. I know I'm going to have to make them a little baby carrier so I can carry them around me at all times. All right, so where do I want to start? I want to start, first of all, let's pick one of these boxes because I have a lot of these jewelry boxes and I want to, um, I want to sell one. Um, I have this lacquer. It's a very, very, has very much of a, of an Asian feel. This lacquer jewelry box and you open it up and it has the three mirrors, but I don't, it has a little bit of pitting in the mirror. So there's this lacquer one. I have some wooden ones here, but I also have on this side. These are also Asian. Now these are these are lacquer. Now she has her it has a little dancer in here, but she's missing her. Oh, girl. Pull up your shirt. Good gracious. What are you doing? Don't show your boobies. Here, I almost put my finger over her. But there's the her, the saucy little girl in here. I don't know that this works, but it has the um, a mirror right there. It is lacquer. And then this one as well. I don't know if that music box still works. This one, oh, this one works. It's got a mountain. Okay, that's all we can do because we don't want to get troubled by YouTube. So, are you guys interested in any of these jewelry boxes? I also have a couple of these glass ones, too. And then there's this one right here that has the red velvet on the inside. And I have a little wooden box here that's hand-carved. The last one, this one, or this one, the music one. Bye, Katie. Yes, if we run over, I'm, I don't even know what time it is. I don't have my watch on. But if there's a live sale, go to the live sale. You can watch this later. The mountain on the mirror. Okay. That would be the bottom one. Okay, the musical one. Okay. So this one. It is lacquer. It's made by ben Benson's. All right, so I'll put that in my box. Okay. <laughs> Fanny pack with leg, leg, with leg holes. You know what? I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to grab the smaller. Um, these, I think, I should sell together because they, they match. One's just a little bit bigger than the other. So maybe I'll grab this smaller one. It doesn't match. And um, so what? which one do you think? This small single one or the double ones that match? And I'll pick those two. So let me know. Which ones do you think? The, the stacking, the two, or just the one? The small single. Okay, I'm seeing those first. So I'm going to pick the small single. All right, so we've got two jewelry boxes. All right, so let's let's pick a cup. Let's pick at least a couple planters. Oh, bye, Daniel. <coughs> do I have any elephants? I do not. I do. I don't. No, I do not. I sold all of the elephants. Elephants? Now listen, if you guys, if you see an elephant, well, wait, wait, wait. wait. I do have an elephant. But he's plastic. He's made in Hong Kong. He's not that spectacular. But he is an elephant. He is plastic. And that's not something... This would be something if you're interested in, you can send me an email. I don't want to take up 15 the 15 items with him. Um, the fancy lady in front. Ooh, yeah. She will be in tomorrow's haul video. She holds air plants in her boobies. Or in her bosom. That would be more. Yeah, but you can put an airplane in her bosom. And I think that she's California pottery. 
So we will do this. Um, I will, I do have a Chihuahua that will be in Wednesday sale, a Chihuahua figurine. Bassets. Yes. I have, I think, is this a Basset Hound? I think that's a Basset Hound. So, Tammy, if you're interested in him, send me an email in the Basset Hound. I think he's the only Basset I have. I know that you're the Basset lady. So, message me if you're interested in him. She does look a bit like Scarlett O'Hara. See, what did I... I saw somebody else say, no corgis. I do have a couple collies. And, well, hello, someone that just drove by and barked. This is a boxer, and I know that because it says it right there on his head. Any weenie dogs? No, no weenie dogs. This, I don't know. I think it's a cat. I think this is a cat. Golden Retrievers. No, The only dogs I have, I've got a Dalmatian. I have this, um, I, which I think is a Cocker Spaniel. The Boxer. A, the Lamb Poodle Sheep. Now, that might be a long-haired Dachshund. Um, I got, actually have two Collies. And then this, I don't know what you are. He's a puppy of some sort. And so if any of these dogs, you can send me a message if you're interested. I think this is a little boxer too, a little boxer puppy. A donkey planter. I thought that I did. Let me look. I have a dog planter and a cat planter. Now he ha he does have a couple of um, hairline cracks on him. Donkey. This is a dream pet. A dream pet suede donkey. He's not a planter. Um, up here I've got swans. A I don't know what you are. A lamb. A bear. A little. A this is Royal Copley. I've got that bear. This little guy. Here's a squirrel planter. And I got a pig planter there and a Shawnee pig planter here. The blue parkets. Oh, parakeets. Okay. The blue parakeets. The Shawnee pig. All right. The yes to the squirrel. I think this is Morton. A Morton pottery. Squirrel. Um, I also... What else? Do, there was something else I wanted to show you. Oh, I wanted you to pick out which piece of Tanala... Kittens in a shoe plant. Yeah, that will be... A oh, this one. Okay. All right. Yeah, kittens in a shoe. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which Tanala? The bird or the platypus duck? <laughs> now, this one's big. He's a big one. And then we have the little dove. Now, this one has like... They almost look like daffodils. And then this one just has like what almost looks like a sunflower to me. It's like a little pigeon. Bird, bird, platypus, bird. Let's see. What's what's the majority? Dove, duck, duck. Okay, I think the big guy is the... All right, he'll be coming up next week. So there's eight. No gobble birds. I don't have any gobble birds. Um, I do have like those lion bookends. 
Uh, oh, the owl spoon rest. The owl spoon rest. It's Otagiri. So is that something? Okay. The owl spoon rest. All right. So there's nine. Cardinals. You know, oh, you know what? Kind of. I'm going to look at my salt and pepper shakers, but I'm thinking that I might, um, I'm going to, let's pick out a bird. I mean, I do have this red bird, Cardinal of Virtue. Um, and I have this itty bitty one. And then I have two bluebirds and I have this smaller one. I don't think that this one's, yeah, this one isn't signed. And then I have ooh, this bird here and then a pink one and then one with clear. So I'm thinking I'm going to grab a bluebird. We'll do a bluebird. This one is signed by... Leo Ward, 1989. The pink bird, I am doing a raffle on the pink bird or an auction. Um, I have a larger pink bird of hope and that will be, all of the proceeds will go to Susan G. Komen. I'm going to do that this week. That'll be on Wednesday. So now we have 10. So now we need to pick five more things. I do want to, I need to show you these pigs down here because I got a lot. So, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back up now, but I've got this, this pig with the jeweled eyes. Now he has a spot where his, um, oh, where his head or his, his clasp that he was chained to his body because he's a bank, um, was broken, but that's it. His head stays on fine. This one says for that Cadillac, this one is also a bank. They're both redware. This one says for that mink. And then this is just a black one with green eyes. And then I have a blue plastic bank. And I have a pig creamer. And then he's got jewels in his nose and he's got flowers. And then, so I need to do some pigs. I'll go back to the salt and pepper shakers in a second. Um, so the pig creamer, I'm seeing the pig creamer. Hi, Sally. It's Italy. Made in, ooh, it's hand painted by, or made specifically for Neiman Marcus. The white one with flowers. Okay. So. Oh my gosh. All the things came up. Norma. If you're interested in this guy. Send me a message. Because I'm. You're the only one that said that. But I'm seeing jeweled nose. Jeweled jewels. Flower. The white one with flowers. Okay. He's lustery. He's leftin. There is, the only issue with him is that he's missing a flower right there. Right there. But other than that, oh my gosh, she's great. He's got jeweled eyes, jeweled mouth, and a jewel nose. Wait, she's in the hospital? Why? What happened to Nancy? Oh my gosh. Hi, Barb. She did a quick update. From the hospital earlier today. They think it was dehydration and stress. My goodness. Oh man. Ephemera. Yes. I'm going to go to the. I'm going to. Let's see. I think we've got. One. Two. I can't remember. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need to pick four more things. So let's pick a couple of salt and pepper shakers and then we'll do some ephemera. So I've got these little piggies. These are souvenir of Hagerstown, Maryland. 
And I've got the elephants. Um, treasure craft owls. These I just picked up. They're made in Occupy Japan. They're little Dutch ducks. And I have, these are also treasure craft from Arizona with the Roadrunner and the cactus. The green Tupperware. You know what these would be great in? Vintage camper. Okay. The owls. The owls. Treasure craft owls. Okay, so. Oh, Maisie, I oh Hagerstown. The reason why I say Hagerstown is because in Indiana there is a Hagerstown. And that's the way it's pronounced. The teardrop. Okay, Lesta, send me a message. You're the only one that's interested in these right now. So send me an email and I'll sell them to you outright. But I'm seeing a lot of the treasure craft owls. Not unless I I mean I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna do two salt and pepper shakers. All right, so I also, I was going to say, well, someone had asked about cardinals, and I don't think I have any. I've got some, these birds, are they like a robin? See, one has an, a wing going up, so I've got those guys, and I do have these little Dutch people and some redware poodas. I do have those. Okay, the black elephants. Okay. They are red wear as well. Okay, so we got the elephants. All right. So now I need to pick out two pieces of ephemera. Again, if there's something that I didn't pick that you're interested in, you can send me an email. You can send me an email. Okay. So... Oh, what's ephemera? Ephemera is just basically paper goods. I'm going to, we're going to pick out, how about we pick out a magazine and a book? Because I do, I have all of this, all these magazines, and I did just pick up this cute little baby book. Ugh. And um, these are all photographs. I have House Beautiful from 1954 some ladies home journal this one's the american home from 1956 but look at that no architectural digest so i can do oh you know what these two I just pulled out. Look at this green stamp book. Do you guys remember the green stamps? So this is the whole catalog, the idea book from 1973. Um, but I also have these vintage coloring books, but I also picked up. Oh, not that one. Look at this. Who are you? Guy Mitchell. Hit Parade from, I don't know, but it's got Guy Mitchell. No cat magazines. So I have Hit Parade. So do you want me to do, um, okay, Annie, Annie said that the 1956 magazine, the, okay, the other one, the American Home and this is Geraldine Fitzgerald and her daughter, Susan. But it has, oh my gosh, look at that bathtub. Oh man, we'll have to look through this. Okay, so I'll pull this and I'll pull a couple books too. And I mean, I, I might have some things that I can pull for Wednesday sale too. I have it all set up over there and I'll give you a sneak peek here in a second, but I have it all set up over there. I don't know if I have everything. I don't know if I have all, you know, 60, whatever 
pieces. Oh, look, here's a little sneak peek, too. Dad's fixing these boxes, but look at these old games he's picked up. This is from the 1940s, this Monopoly game. Then we have bingo and colorful beads and anagrams. He likes to fix the boxes, but it does have the, the parts in the middle. Okay, so do we want to do a reader? Um, I did pull some new ones. And I and Susan, I, I bought some new ones this weekend, too. So we've got Friends Here and Away, Trips to Take, Children's Stories That Never Grow Old. Let's look at Trips to Take. Oh, look at this one. We've got, I don't know. I know that he's a Native American, but I don't know who you are. Maybe you're just a boy. This one is Johnson Publishing Company. This is a second reader, and the copyright is 1928. But it has kind of the, the bluish brown pictures in it. Yeah, the end papers are nice in this one. And I like the, looking at the end papers in the books and the covers. Trips to take. So we've got that one. And Friends Far and Away. I liked this one because of the little boy with a sailboat. This one has got some issues. But look. Look, there's good old Bobby Wigwags. Good old Bobby Wigwags. There's a donkey. This is the Curriculum Readers. Bob's Merrill. And it is dated 1934. Oh, it's got this inside here. What's that? Cabbage plants, eggplants, and mangoes. So that one's got some issues. But we also have... See, this one's kind of nice, too. This is Music Appreciation, book one. And it's, you know, all musical things. Seesaw, Christmas in Holland. Um, Halloween. Ooh, look at the jack-o'-lantern. The little bird. I like the pictures. Oh, I love little pussy. <laughs> we're, we're, this is a repeat from last week. I love little pussy. Her coat is so warm. And if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. Well, there you go. There's words to live by. Words to live by. Okay, well, okay, grow up, Misty. Grow up. How the Robin got his red breast. <laughs> That's what it says. I'm just reading the pages. I wanted to see if there was Santa because there's Halloween. And I think that I had seen Santa. I think, I think this might be the one. Well, there's Santa Claus, but I don't think that there's a picture of him. Christmas in Holland. Come on, Santa. There's Jesus. And then we go to the woodpecker. So Santa's not going to make an appearance. Some instruments, the violin, the band. Okay, this one's cool. You, are you guys okay with this one? It's in excellent condition. Let me see who, when it was copyright. 1926. Okay. You know what? Maybe I'll do these two together. Since this one's in questionable condition, we'll do these two together as a lot. Okay. That's what we'll do. We'll do those together as a lot. Let's pick one more thing. One bonus. One bonus. So what shall our bonus item be? Um, I've got the gazelle cups. I've got Wilson tennis ball cups. Um, what do you see? Oh, I have all these. I have some paint by numbers. I have some mother prints. I've got the dog that you can see its ribs plate. Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's go down here real quick. Let's pick out a piece of a linen. That's a good idea. Oh, you know what? Wednesday, Wendy, Wednesday. This is a little preview for a Wednesday sale. See? Ooh, there's the fairy lamp. And the planters. I'm selling this child set of Fiesta. There's the skunk. I'm cutie. So it's, I think it's going to be a good, a good sale. I do have quite a few, few linens. These are going to be in tomorrow's haul video. I decided I'm not going to keep these little chalkware lambs. They're going to be in the sale. And are there any interest in these vintage bunnies? I don't know. I mean, I can deflate them to ship them, but I don't know if there's any interest in those or not. But I do have a, a piece of antique ephemera that I will be selling on Wednesday. And an antique calendar. And Seventeen Magazine from 1970. Yes to the bunnies? Okay. All right. All right, so let's pick out a some ephemera. And I do I did get a couple quilts, but I'm not going to sell those yet. Well, you know what? I can cuz this video will go out tomorrow. So I have this quilt here. Ugh. Let me spread it out. I did just get this, but it has birds. Look at the birds. There's a cardinal and hummingbirds. There aren't any flamingos. There's a pelican. There's a woodpecker, a robin. There is an owl right there. And look at the color, this jadeite green. Okay, so you think, I know, I'm not going to tell Jocelyn. It's a quilt and it has birds on it. So do you think I should do the bird quilt or I also have a quilt topper with very similar colors, but it has just this re repeated star pattern on it. And it's just the topper. There is a interest in owls. A lot of people in this community love owls and elephants and poodles and deer. Bird quilt, bird quilt. Okay, I am going to take it home and wash it because it's not been washed. So I will take it home tonight and I will wash it. I'm going to lay it right here. I will wash that tonight. And look, let's just look at this for a minute. Look at that. Michael made me a wreath. Michael, are you going to sell any wreaths tomorrow? Owls, elephants, deer, and um, poodles. Ah, oh, look at that. Let's just look at it for a moment, shall we? Michael, the cult of vintage, made me this Easter wreath. And I love it hanging on this door. I, I wanted to take it home, but then, I'm, then I hung it on the store to take a picture. And I'm like, God, I love it on that door. Oh, nope, he hasn't had time. No, no wreaths this week. This is an upcoming haul. And a lot of you sent me messages like, why didn't you buy that bottle? Well, I did. I went back and got it. So this is an upcoming haul. And so is that stuff over there. That's stuff that I bought this weekend. I know, Marty. Isn't it great on that door? Oh, I love it on that door. All right. So... I know that there's some live sales going on right now. Um, I would like for you to go and watch the sales, but I do just want to show you really quick since you're here, just really quick. Look, 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 there's my wall with a little walkway here. Now, all of this stuff is all dad's that he, this is all his responsibility. All of this. He's got a lot of primitive tools and like a cuckoo clock. 
some of these some of these prints I will be selling, but um, yeah. So yeah, he he's he's got a lot of stuff in here. A lot of bottles. But then you go through this little walkway and then I'm going to have my Tuesday sale sitting in front of that cabinet. So see, we're getting there, guys. We're moving the couch down here and I'm going to get more shelves to put on that side where the couch is now. Um, I have a half brother, an older half brother. Okay, so thank you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for the friend mail, and thank you for helping me pick out all these goodies. I'm going to bring this, um, this box down and get it ready for tomorrow. Um, make sure that you do check out, I think that Perfecting Pearls is having a sale right now, and the Collection Vintage is having a sale um, so go over to their YouTube channels and check out their sale. You know, you don't ever have to buy anything. Just coming and hanging out and just showing support by being there is really important. That That's a really important thing to do. And also don't forget to hang out with us tonight at 8 o'clock um, Eastern on my YouTube channel. We will have the Vintage Rescue Squad. And um, yeah, Jamie's going to be there. She's in the chat right now. And, um, so make sure that you do come and hang out with us tonight. You know, we just kind of let you guys decide on what we're going to talk about. I have a couple things in mind, things that I can bring up just in case nobody has any ideas, but I think we usually always, we're all a bunch of talkers. We all usually like to talk about a lot of things. So go over to the other sales. And if you have a YouTube channel, leave it your channel, tag your channel, or leave the link to your channel down in the description below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Or actually, I'll see you tonight and tomorrow. All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye.